Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading <coughs> for, uh, monthly tarot reading, excuse me, for November 2018 and while I'm doing the shuffling guys, again I want to remind you that this is just a general reading for Virgo star sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, I will do here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, if you find these reports helpful, you can, uh, and you want to know even more about uh, your star sign, in this case Virgo, uh, you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading uh, for just $1.49 from my website, in which we are focusing specifically in career and relationship development for the star sign that you have purchased for, in this case, Virgo. Because this is just a, a general reading, general outlook. So five cards spread. Now the first card is about the topic for your Virgo's month and we do have the Page of Wands or the Princess of Wands with that specific deck. And this card points that this is going to be a rather lonely month. And it's not going to be lonely because you're going to lack attention or you're going to lack a... Um, determination from other people to uh, to involve with you, to be with you and to basically experience things with you. But the page of print, uh, the, the page of wands, it's a card pointing that you are to realize how strong you can be on your own. That will be your, your own personal determination to face your problems alone, to resolve your issues with your own personal strength so you can detach from certain strings, you can reach a, um, um, a state of personal independence as well and on top of that this card points that there will be a lot of new enterprises coming in your way and that's why you will prefer to face the month on your own so you can um, you know so you can involve yourself solo into those enterprises and into those activities and uh, uh, basically reap uh, their rewards for yourself. This card also points that you may feel a little bit of um, um, uh, stagnant, alright? You can have a feeling of stagnation because um, people basically will not be able to understand your brilliance and you will try to express yourself, to express your brilliant strategies, either career or relationship wise, and you may not feel under, you may not face understanding from the people that you are trying to tackling with. And that is going to be one more reason for you to just proceed on on your own. Because uh, for example, your boss will not see the reason behind your uh, strategy regarding a certain project Project, your partner in your career will be skeptical about the uh, the enterprise you want to create into your relationship etc etc for example traveling you may want to travel your partner uh, will not see a reason behind it they may not feel like it you know and you may decide to travel on your own there, there is a uh, countless ways of how this card can uh, manifest itself but what it says is that you should not be afraid to face the month on your own the next one it is the intentions that you should have here and we do have the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles asks you to focus yourself more upon money making money and in general creating stability and as in modern days stability and security is uh, directly connected to the money, you will have the opportunity here to devote yourself into a, a long-term project, lucrative undertaking or lucrative enterprise, you know, which is going to reward you in the long term with a lot of stability. The Page of Pentacles is the highest devotion. It is like you are narrowing yourself toward one specific goal that is, um, that is a, uh, let's say, thoroughly thought through and there is 
almost nothing that can ruin it for you and you are putting everything you got into it of course as we do have the page of wands here not many people are to support you through your development but you don't need anybody by looking at these couple of cards I mean these rewards are yours and yours only and only you can achieve the greatness of the highness of the situation and uh, the more help you try to attract the less reward you're going to have that's why you gotta move there believing in yourself you know on your own as I said again also the page of uh, Pentacles sometimes may manifest like a um, uh, more than a friendship kind of car so if you are feeling lonely here and you want an emotional connection with someone uh, you should not look outside of your social circle but in your social circle entirely but in the same time you know you will have a, a difficult time to make that person talk about their true um, about their true emotions and not because they don't have any but because they are afraid from you because the page of wands is also a sign of immaturity here and because you are jumping from one thing to another or because you are just proceeding um, without asking anybody for help they may think that they that you are pretty high bar for them the challenges that you are to face throughout the month causing a predicament are the doubts of the lucrivity or the basically the, the, ge the generic success of the undertaking you are to devote yourself basically you will have questions for example why I am doing this you know or why I am is a isolating myself why is there no one to applaud me as I am making such a, an extraordinary progress and this is the thing guys I mean it is an extraordinary progress according your standards according your beliefs according your visions but that vision will have as I said a hard time to be shared among the others so uh, the the challenge here will be the determination for you to push the agenda and the undertaking to its very end here because as I said you know people will not understand you and this is the nature's law everybody is afraid for what they don't understand so people will be afraid of what you are doing people will be afraid of what you are as well and that could um, basically attract or traverse friends into enemies well this is a very extreme interpretation but it is not excluded as well right so but again these cards are advising you seriously to push into that direction even if there is no one there to applaud you but uh, you have to approach these situations uh, with a, a great portion of intelligence and wisdom emotions is something highly unadvisable looking at these cards emotion emotions are only going to make for you doubts they are only going to benefit you with uh, wrangles and scandals the next card that we do have this is going to be the resources that you can capitalize on this is going to be the queen of cups and the resources that you have on your behalf is time time to prepare time to plan time to um to basically wait for the right possible moment nothing else is that i can tell you in mean, this for this card as such of a follow-up of course the Queen of Cups it is highly connected with the emotions but in your case this card shows the complete ability to tame your emotions to uh, basically exclude the frantic um, the frantic behavior and the urge to to be frantic about performances therefore uh, this is what is going to make you be very calm poker faced and also a uh, very patient regarding the exact timing of your execution and of your um, proceed and advance moving on forward with whatever agenda you have placed uh, for yourself queen of cups it's very important as well regarding um, 
how can I place it regarding secrets all right so you have to keep your agenda as secretive as possible uh, as much as possible all right just basically don't share what plans you have for you as I said you are to face a complete lack of uh, understanding here or at least the it will be a severe misunderstanding or lack of understanding and uh, uh, this is going to cause additional predicaments um, to the uh, self-doubts that you may have within yourself so try to be um, you know try to be more secretive about the goal that you have placed uh, in front of yourself and the last card here is showing the final outcome or what will be the result of all that well finally you have your new beginning all right this is just here the advance toward it well at the end you have it as we know all aces are presenting a new beginning and the ace of wands is presenting the explosive new beginning it it gives you new enterprises it gives you basically um <clears throat> A, a ways to resolve your issues here and in that specific case it will give you a um, how can I place it an opportunity to prove to people how wrong they were in that specific case to escape from uh, some dead end situations as well the ace of wands gives you the creative chaos your creative chaos through which it is what is called it is why it's called that way the creative chaos you can create from it whatever you want the way you want it so um this specific reading here basically um virgo it tells you that not every time uh people will be um you know amused of uh, what you try to make of your life um and uh, you know and the, the means and the um the procedure of how this is going of how you are to meet your dreams well the hell with it many people will not be agreed with your dreams as well because simply there is no coverage with their personal dreams but uh, that doesn't mean that you should stop following your dreams guys as a matter of fact uh, if you want the universe to help you well you have to first help yourself and this is what is all about throughout this uh, throughout this month uh, therefore, all that I can tell you here, looking at this reading, is that despite of uh, what the code of the the common code of conduct tells you, despite what other people tells you, you should not stop even for a second to believe in your personal capabilities and, in general, the right for to be happy, no matter the means, no matter the consequences. So that being said, Virgos. This was your uh, monthly tarot reading for November 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was a general reading for Virgo star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy as a follow-up in the spread. But it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, this is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. If you find these reports helpful, <clears throat> and you want to know more, even more about your uh, month of um, November, uh, you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading that I'm offering from my website, which is going to uh, focus on career and relationships specifically with a, a couple of spreads. So that being said, guys, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.